Tech. In this video, learn about how to calculate efficiency and regulation of a short transmission line. Okay. Take one problem. Okay. 220 kV TH, okay, 220 kV TH, three phase, three phase transmission line, three phase transmission line is three kilometers long kilometers long the, the resistance of the transmission line is 0 0.15 ohm per phase per kilometer and the given inductance inductance is 1.33 milli henry per kilometer per phase and here it is a short transmission line then the capacitance is negligible capacitance is negligible so there is no capacitance okay, we are not considering the capacitance and conductance here what we have to find out here we have to find out voltage at uh, sending end next uh, percentage regulation and efficiency of the transmission line okay now and also abcd parameters abcd parameters of transmission line abcd parameters when the line supplying when the line supplying Four hundred MVN, two twenty volts, EKV at zero point eight power factor. At zero point eight power factor line. This is the problem they given. I have to find out ABCD parameters, sending in voltage, sending in current, regulation, and efficiency. Okay, let's write the given data or the given. Here the given length of the transmission line is 50 kilometers. Therefore, we have to calculate resistance, inductance, and capacitance for 50 kilometers. Okay, therefore, uh, the resistance of the transmission line 0 0.15 into 50 can get 7.5 ohm. Inductance, we have to calculate the inductance. Uh, the given L equals to inductance L equals to 1.33 milli henry therefore I have to calculate XL XL value is 2 pi FL into 50 okay for 50 kilometers therefore 2 into pi into THS into 1.33 into 10 power minus 3 at 50 kilometers the value is 20.881 oh. therefore the impedance z equals to therefore the impedance z equals to 7.5 plus j 20.881 oh. okay this is impedance of the transmission line if you convert this one into polar form you can get 22.187 at an angle 70.24 okay this is it now it is a three phase system then we have to calculate the phase voltage the pure phase we know the receiving end voltage line to line divided by root 3 it is 220 into 10 power 3 divided by root 3 can get a uh, B phase is 12701717 volts per phase 
and also we have to calculate current current i equals to i r equals to p by root 3 v l it is in mba there is no cost by in the formula therefore it is 400 into 10 power 6 divided by root 3 into 220 into 10 power 3 to get the receiving end current is 1049.73 therefore ir vector equals to ir vector equals to ir at an angle minus pi here ir value is here ir value is 1049.3 at an angle minus the phi r value the phi r value is 36.86 IR value is nothing but cos inverse of 0 0.8 to get this angle. Okay, now I have VR, IR, and Z, then I can calculate Vs. The sending end voltage Vs equals to VR plus IR into Z. Here VR value is 127017 plus. 1049.3 at an angle minus 36.86 into the z value is 22.187 at an angle 70.24 application of this one you get 127017 plus 19450.62 plus j 128 0.7 yeah, finally you get the this sending end is 14647.62 plus j 12810.71 okay, convert this one into polar form you get polar voltage is 1470.26.8 an angle pi holes okay this is the sending end voltage and sending end current is nothing but uh, receiving end current in short transmission line is equals to ir this is 1049.73 amperes okay now the Sending end line to line voltage is uh, root 3 into sending end phase voltage. Just now we calculated root 3 into the 147026.8. We can get the uh, sending end voltage, uh, line to line voltage is uh, 254, 254.66 kV. Okay. Now the sending end power factor. The sending and uh, power is root 3 Vs line to line into Is into cos phi s. Where, where uh, this cos phi s is, cos phi s is cos of the angles of uh, Vr between Vr and Vs vr and uh, is okay here the angle is pi plus 36.86 this is ir or is angle this is vs angle okay therefore cos of cos of pi plus 36.86 get okay i have to substitute here in the above formula Therefore, you get the sending end power is Vs equals to the root 3 Vsl Is into cos phi s. It is a root 3 into the sending end line to line voltage is 254.66 into 10 power 3 into 1049.7. Seven three into cos of i plus 
36.86 you get the sending end voltage is sending end power is how much you get the sending end power after calculating this we can get 344.846 megabit okay now efficiency is well efficiency is efficiency is output by output plus losses here output is in mva we have to convert that one into megawatt by multiplying power factor of 0 0.8 therefore 400 into 0 0.8 power factor plus losses the losses are here losses are the formula is i square into or i square it is 1049.73 square into 7.5 you get 34.79 megawatt okay or we can get already we know the input input minus output you can get the losses also 344.846 minus 400 into 0 0.8 to get approximately 24.846 megawatt it is 86 megawatt okay both the cases we can get the form losses now efficiency equals to output by input substitute output equals to 400 into 0 0.8 and input equals to 344.846 into 100 you can get the efficiency is 92.81 percentage okay now the regulation the regulation formula for uh, short transmission line is vs minus vr by vr into 100 here we get Vs is 147026.8 minus Vr is 127017 divided by 127017 in 200. Okay, the regulation is 15.75 percentage. Now ABCD parameters of short transmission line is absorb the formula Vs equals to Vr plus IR into Z. Compare this one with A Vr plus B IR, then A becomes 1, B becomes Z, and IS equals to C Vr plus B IR. Therefore, um, IS formula is IR. Then C equals to 0 and D equals to 1. Therefore, from this 1, the Z value is after calculating this Z value, we can get 7.5 plus J 20.881. C equals to 0 and D equals to 1. Those are the ABCD parameters of the transmission line. Okay, finally, I calculated. The sending end voltage, sending end current is nothing but IR. Efficiency is 90. Much you get the efficiency 92.81 percentage, and the percentage or regulation is 15.75 and ABCD parameters also from this problem. Okay, thank you very much.